اقتل الحمد لله يرحمك الله يهديكم الله ويصلح بالكم Replying to his needs has become almost second nature to many of us. But what does the reply mean? Why do we use this reply? And what are some other sunan at the time of sneezing? So a very simple translation of the words Alhamdulillah is All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But why is a person praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the time of sneezing? A person is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the fact that Allah has allowed him to have that sort of relief after that sneeze and for allowing him to clear that nasal passage of his. And then the person replies and says, Yarhamuk Allah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon you. And then a person further replies, Yahdikum Allah wa yuslihu balakum. A person is asking for the opposite person to have continuous guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together with uh, he, all his matters becoming easy. So this entire process, two Muslim brothers replying to each other, making dua for each other, is a process, it's a method of creating unity and love between the hearts of mankind. So a question that might come to your mind at this point, is that what happens if a person continuously sneezes more than three times? What do I have to do now? So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us that if a person sneezes three times, then a person should reply to their sneeze. However, if a person sneezes more than three times, then you do not have to reply to their sneeze. If you want to, you can reply. And if you don't want to, don't have to reply. So another question that comes to your mind might be that this whole aspect of covering your mouth with your hand or with your sleeve or whatever it is, is that also part of sunnah? Yes. That's also part of Sunnah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would cover his mouth when sneezing, either using his hands or either using his clothing. And this would serve two purposes. The obvious reason is that not to infect someone else with any disease which you might be getting. But the second purpose is also to, de to diffuse the sound of the sneeze. Because you know, when you sneeze, it can almost be shocking to the next person. So when you cover, you are almost deflecting the sound. You are decreasing the sound and the impact of the sound as not to harm the Muslim brother. SubhanAllah, even to the small extent, you don't want to harm your Muslim brother in Islam. So the next time you find yourself replying to someone's sneeze, or maybe sneezing yourself, then keep in mind all of these points. And keep in mind the fact that how much reward you are actually gaining in the small space of time. If you like this video, then like the video below and subscribe to our channel. And comment on the video below and tell us what other sunnah you want us to discuss in our series, Kiss, Keeping It Simple Sunnah.